In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at uh, three examples of graphing parabolas in the uh, factored form, y equals uh, x minus r, x minus s. This, uh, neither of these examples include uh, an a value uh, bigger than 1, so uh, that's why there's no a here. Uh, this is the uh, basic uh, fact factored form. So there's three examples here all together, one on each page. Uh, they're asked to find the x-intercepts, uh, find out where the vertex is, and then make a sketch of the parabola. So starting with the uh, x-intercepts, as long as the equation, and this one is exactly in this form, it's x minus a number, x minus a number, then this 3 and 7 here are where the graph goes through, the parabola goes through the x-axis. So the, it passes through at uh, 3 and 7. So we'll put a dot at 3 and another one at 7. Uh, you could quote the x-intercepts as 3 comma 0 and 7 comma 0 if you wanted to. Or we sometimes just say the numbers they pass through the x-axis. Now we can use these to determine the coordinates of the vertex. So we're going to find the axis of symmetry um, equation. So we're going to use this, uh, you average the r and s numbers, which are 3 and 7 in this case. We're going to add 3 and 7 and divide by 2. And so uh, 3 plus 7 is 10, and then 10 divided by 2 is 5. So x equals 5 would be the axis of symmetry. It would actually be this line, vertical line right here. I'm not going to bother draw it. Uh, what we need the 5 for is if the vertex is on that line, it has to be on the axis of symmetry, then that means that the x coordinate of the vertex is 5. We use that 5 and substitute 5 in place of x here and here, and that calculation will give us the y coordinate of the vertex. So 5 is the x coordinate, this is going to give us what the y coordinate is. So 5 minus 3 is 2, 5 minus 7 is negative 2, and we multiply those, we get negative 4. So the vertex's coordinates would be 5 from here, and negative 4 from this y calculation. So we put a dot at 5, negative 4 here, that's the vertex. Uh, the parabola passes through the uh, x-axis at 3 and 7, so that's the shape it would have to have. So that's a sketch of y equals x minus 3, x minus 7. Number two over here is y equals x, x minus 8. Now, y equals x, x minus 8, I'm going to go back to the first page for a second. It's not quite in that form. Well, it is, but it doesn't look exactly like it. So what you can do to make it two separate factors here is you can think of the x as x minus 0. So when you see uh, the monomial x, just the term x out front, that's the same as having x minus 0. So 0 and 8 would be the two x-intercepts. So on the graph, we'll put a dot at 0 and dot at 8. That's the two x-intercepts. So just like on the previous page, we're going to use this to find the axis symmetry, which will give us also the x-coordinate for the vertex. So we're going to put 0 and 8 in place of r and s. Uh, 0 and 8 at 8 and then we divide that by 2, we get 4. So 4 will be the x-coordinate of the vertex. If we wanted to draw the axis symmetry line, it would be right along here. So we take our equation, and of course you could use this one if you wanted to. I'm going to use the simpler version. And we're going to substitute 4 in place of x, both here and here. So in the brackets here, 4 minus 8 is negative 4, so we're multiplying 4 and negative 4, which is negative 16. So that's the y-coordinate, that's the x-coordinate. So the vertex is at 4, comma, negative 16. And so I had that dot come in at the same time, so 4, negative 16 is right there. The uh, parabola would open up because the vertex here is below the two x-intercepts, so that's a sketch of what it would look like. And number three, the last one here, y equals x plus 3, x minus 3. Now that's not quite in, remember the uh, factored form looks like this. So it's x minus r, x minus s. So this one's fine, it's exactly the same form. So the x plus 3, we would think of that as x take away negative 3. And so it's written in this form now. So negative 3 is one of the x-intercepts, and positive 3 would be the other. So we put a dot at uh, negative 3 and one at positive 3. Those are the two x-intercepts. And we use this to find the equation for the axis symmetry, or the x-axis, uh, or the uh, vertex's x-coordinate. 
So we'll put negative 3 in place of r and 3 in place of s. Um, negative 3 and 3 are opposites, so they add to 0. 0 divided by 2 would be 0. So the vertex is x coordinate is 0. So we find the uh, y coordinate by putting 0 in place of x in the original equation. Well, this would work out as well. So it looks like this. So 0 goes here and 0 goes here. 0 plus 3 is 3. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. And those would multiply to give you negative 9. So the vertex's uh, uh, coordinates would be at 0, negative 9. So we'll put a dot here at 0, negative 9. And we can draw our parabola. There's a sketch of the parabola. Uh, y equals x plus 3 times x minus 3. So that's how you graph uh, when it's in factored form. Uh, you can look at the equation in the factored form and find the intercepts. Uh, use this to find the equation for the axis symmetry, which is also the x corner of the vertex. Substitute that number in your original equation for x in place of x, and this calculation will give you the y value for the vertex. Plot those points, draw your parabola. That's it. And that's the end of the tutorial.